Uh, the 1990 period was a real interesting turning point for California. Uh, it shifted from a state that attracted people to one that sheds them to other parts of the country. There were high housing prices, a recession. Well, the global village has arrived, and its main street is called the Internet. Mosaic is one of those new developments. The net is made up of some 12,000 individual computer networks. One danger is this could turn out to be an Alita system, one available only to people with a computer and a modem. area of our new house um, from moving from California. We did play outside a lot when we were in, uh, in San Jose. Our neighborhood wasn't that great and all the houses were all really close together. There's no countryside. A little bit in our backyard, but when we went to Texas, we had a lot of countryside to explore. When I first saw the house, it wasn't the dream home that we were described over the phone but I saw a place big enough for the eight of us to live, and hopefully maybe we could make it into our dream home. We had several dogs that uh, we raced here and died here. We had a dog named Sonny. It was like a golden retriever type dog. Um, I can't remember how he died, but I remember we buried him right there, right on the side of the house. <laughs> I moved into the Raider house with Sam as a newlywed, and so living there for me was almost like a little dream come true. It was an experience for me because as an only child, I was able to really see what it's like to live with other people who I considered my siblings. For the first time, I felt like a sister to someone. One winter, it was really, really cold, and we didn't have enough resources to heat up the house but we had one heater upstairs, and it was a propane heater, so our whole family moved upstairs. We came down to um, eat very briefly because it was so cold, but we lived upstairs, all eight of us, several kids in each bedroom, and some of us slept on the couch. To me, it was one of the happiest times at that house because we were all close together again, like we were in San Jose. this bathroom we had upstairs. Always extremely cold in there or extremely hot. We, all five of us brothers had to share it. It was pretty far out there. I remember in San Jose we used to walk to 7-Eleven if we needed milk or something, but out there we had to drive at least 10 miles to go get a gallon of milk. Texas farmers are anticipating small yields this year due to an ongoing severe drought. Everybody moved out. I was the only one coming home for a couple days. Pretty scary and awkward. After 17 years of living out in the countryside, we all ended up back living in urban areas. It was the internet that helped us feel connected to the world while we lived out there. One of the things about it being just us out there, we all grew very close and we still are a very close family. And though we're spread out across the United States, we are still in daily communication and contact with each other through the internet, through group texting, Facebook, YouTube. 